Welcome to Geographic Definitions. Today we'll be defining aquacludes. Aquacludes are normally permeable strata that becomes impermeable due to saturation and confines an aquifer. To understand this, we first need to define three key terms, strata, permeable, and impermeable. Let's start with strata. Strata are layers of sediment or rock. You can see an example of strata in Salta, the mountainous northwest of Argentina. And that's strata. The next two definitions are permeable and impermeable. Imagine a sponge suspended over a plastic waterproof slope, and a constant even trickle of water is poured on top. Of course, the water moves freely through the body of the sponge and will begin to drip from the bottom. This characteristic can be described as permeable, because it allows liquids or gases to pass through it. Compare this characteristic with a plastic waterproof slope. Water just runs across it with zero absorption. This characteristic can be described as impermeable, as it doesn't allow liquids or gases to pass through. But suppose I was to crack an egg on top of the sponge to stop water from flowing through it. Now we have a normally permeable sponge, but now it's saturated and clogged up with gunk, making it an impermeable surface. Now let's take this analogy and apply it to soil. Soil is largely permeable. If I have a dehydrated layer of soil, adding water to the top will trickle through the grass and nourish the layer of soil beneath it, making it permeable. However, sometimes when fine-grained natural soil material, often containing clay materials, is mixed with water, it turns into something similar to clay, a notoriously waterproof material as it is often used to hold water as jugs or mugs, thus making it impermeable. This impermeable layer of minerals doesn't allow water to pass through it. So water can effectively create two opposites, one layer that absorbs water easily, and another that confines water and offers no absorption. And that's permeable and impermeable. Now let's get into defining aquacludes. Aquifers, or groundwater, are often found separated by layers of permeable soil, so water can easily move between one aquifer to another. These layers of permeable soil are called aquitards. However, sometimes a permeable soil allowing free movement between aquifers gets saturated and plugged up. This creates impermeable layers called aquacludes that prevent free flow of water between aquifers. So, in essence, if brought to the surface, whenever you've got a barrier that allows free movement, and a barrier which prevents free movement, this would be the aquitard, and this would be the aquaclude. As seen in this diagram of the different types of aquifers, you've got some aquifers divided by a permeable aquitard, and some aquifers divided by an impermeable aquaclude. This creates three different kinds of aquifers unconfined aquifers, semi-confined aquifers, and confined aquifers. Looking closer, we can see how unconfined aquifers get their name by being connected to open bodies of water. A semi-confined aquifer is groundwater that is separated by a permeable layer, or aquitard, and an impermeable layer, or aquaclude, meaning it can move freely through one, but not the other. Then you have confined aquifers. These are pockets of groundwater trapped between two impermeable aquacludes, preventing movement between both layers. Thus, aquacludes are normally permeable strata that becomes impermeable due to saturation and confines an aquifer. Thank you for watching. Please support the channel by subscribing, leaving a comment and liking the video. If you're interested in these resources, please visit my test store, link in the description.